Thursday, July 11th, 2019. UK ambassador to US quits after leaked cables enrage Trump. Britain's ambassador to the US resigned Wednesday after being branded a fool by President Trump following the leak of the envoy's unflattering opinions about the US administration. Kim Derrick said he could no longer do his job in Washington after Trump cut off all contact with the representative of one of America's closest allies. Prime Minister Theresa May and other British politicians who have praised Derrick condemned the leak and criticized Donald Trump's intemperate comments. German Chancellor Angela Merkel insisted she was, quote, very well, despite suffering her third trembling spell in less than a month. Avigdor Lieberman, the man who stopped Benjamin Netanyahu from forming an Israeli government this year, has a new campaign slogan, Make Israel Normal Again. Trump threatens to substantially increase sanctions on Iran. I look forward to discussing whatever I have to discuss, but I can only tell you we cannot ever let Iran have a nuclear weapon. President Donald Trump warned on Wednesday that U.S. sanctions on Iran would be increased substantially soon. Trump also accused Iran of secretly enriching uranium for a long time, but offered no evidence. U.N. inspectors have uncovered no covert enrichment by Iran since long before its 2015 nuclear agreement deal with world powers. President Trump scored a crucial victory in a Democratic-backed lawsuit that accuses him of violating anti-corruption provisions of the U.S. Constitution with his Washington hotel. Trump's military-style July 4th parade drained a special Washington, D.C. city fund designed to help pay for extra security and anti-terrorism measures. A Virginia rabbi has gone missing after jumping into the ocean to save a student who struggled to make it back to shore. Democrats prepare for Mueller testimony. Former FBI Director Robert Mueller, scheduled to testify on July 17th, has said he won't answer questions beyond what is in the report on Russia's election meddling. Mueller is expected to testify in front of the Judiciary and Intelligence Committees for two hours each, with time split evenly between Republicans and Democrats. A Democratic aide said staff members have been watching old videos of Mueller testifying during the administrations of George W. Bush and Barack Obama. A group of parents is suing New York State in an effort to reinstate a religious exemption to vaccine mandates. The MTA has announced that limited express train service is coming to the F-Line this fall. Uber is taking ride-sharing to new heights after launching its new air service between John F. Kennedy Airport and Midtown Manhattan.